Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We're just back out again today because um, Love we're, it. we're mental. It's uh, it's nice and sunny today, so the signal should be popping because it's nice and sunny. Might even get a suntan. You never know. You never know. Uh, it's first of December, so I thought I might take Holly on to uh, where I had my luck last time. And if you haven't seen the end of my last video, because not a lot of you actually watched the end, yeah, the beard has gone. But you know why? Because I found gold, Celtic gold, last video. Then the man of my word, get it cut off. But no, my luck, as it is, first day. It literally snows the next day. Yeah, snows the next day. <laughs> so that thing keeping my face warm will no longer keep my face warm. Well, I got a little bit, but it's still. We got gold out of it. Yeah, I did. My hand's cold holding the camera at the moment. Gloves. Jordan's got my other pink gloves. <sighs> Jordan from Dragon Detective got your other pink gloves, brilliant. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this sort of thing, don't give me thumbs up and um, yeah, subscribe if you want to. It's up to you. It's free. Um, I'm spoiling the snow bacon. Ain't got anything else to add? I'm happy and I'm excited. I got to see a dog. <laughs> Just know it's me and you've got matching hats. Yeah. Good old you. <laughs> All right, let's just gas in. Let's do this. Let's go digging. Off we flop. There's Holly's legs, top right corner, just coming off this lovely track. You can see the track prop now because the snow's starting to settle. My first signal of today will be in this clod, which I've dug out lovely, of course, next to the track. Shush. Ah, oh, bit lead. Just a bit lead. But, you know, you've got to dig it. Oh, it's a, look how cold my hands look. We'll stop whinging about the weather now. We'll just put the lead in the bag. Uh, fill in the hole. Off we flop. Well, 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 my first coin. It's just a modern from our late Queen Elizabeth II. Benny! But it's, sort of, it's a coin. It's a coin. Let's put that in the pot. I'm about the same area where I was... The other day when I found the Celtic Court Estater, Rose Gold. Um, so yeah, I'm proper gonna grid this area now. See if anything else pops up. I just got a signal here. But I looked up and Holly's marching her way over. So I don't know if she's found anything good. She's a bit lead. Yeah, a bit lead. So I don't know what she's found. We'll soon find out. <laughs> Marching with purpose. Oh, there we go. What you found? Maybe. Looks like it has a lobster on it. Or a vase. Uh, no, Roman. Yeah, I'm going to say that's Roman. Yeah, it does look like a vase on it. Looks like a person somewhere. Yeah. Well, Holly's marked away. Yeah, that'll be the head side there. Yeah. Holly's marched away over. She's on the Roman look. Check her out. Whoop, whoop. I just feel like I'm getting on grasping this faster than the Nox. What? You're grasping the Deus too faster than the Nox. Sorry. And what are you running it? You're running it in general mode, aren't you? Just general mode, straight out of the box, and you're having fun. <laughs> cool. Alright, I've been digging up lots of little scrappy bits of lead at the moment, and this popped up. I've already found it. I've done the rest of the hole before I show you, you know. <laughs> uh, I haven't just kicked in the hole, it was there. Is that that? There it is. Yeah, spindle ball. Little spindle ball. An old one as well. Made of lead. So the little lead artifacts are here. Still cool find. On the good side, filling in the hole, which I've already done most of it. And let's uh, crack on. It's actually warming up a little bit now, so it's not even too chilly. So let's crack on. I've just come to chat to Holly. She just had like a little cap of a buttony thing up just there. 
Um, and I was editing my video last night, and it happens to me quite a lot when I edit a video. It's the previous video you just saw on our brand spanking new permission on the pasture. When I dug up something and it only tweeted to me, I've already written in, I think it's Saxon. Um, but I still, still on my person is this here. It's because of the zoomorphic heads on the swivel point here. See, they're definitely sort of animal heads. I want to see that all cleaned up. Yeah, I am going to clean it up properly. But wow. why else would it be zoomorphic heads on... I don't know. I, I think that's Saxon. Um, 80% sure. Could be wrong. Could just be really decorated Georgian, but with them zoomorphic heads on the swivel there. Definitely look all, I don't know what animals they are. But definitely like little ears. See the ears? I think and they're dragons. You think they're dragons? Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to clean it up with a gently, gently. But yeah, that was in my good side, which I obviously haven't taken in yet. Well, is this early snack time? What's going on? Shall we call this snack time? Do you want, do you want to go through your snacks? Just, just to show the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to say something really fitting then, but I just decided not to. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what kind of monster? Ovs. Standard nowadays, isn't it? For you and your can of monsters. Mm -hmm. Pink wafers are oh, classic. What flavour crisps are they? Sour cream. They sticky crisps. So you've got two bags of sticky crisps. And Mike and Ike's Mega Mix Sour. They're American. They're amazing. That's my snacks. That's your snacks for the day. Mm -hmm. All healthy. Yeah, One cool. of your five a day. Yeah. I only had two and a half roast potatoes last night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just had this up. Um, it rang up. Nice 50 sort of on the uh, day or two. I think that's part of a really good ring. Would have had a stone or something in there. Uh, yeah, the way that's inset there. Let's get a bit of a clean up actually, because it's covered in clag. Two secs. Really, you had a bit more of a clean up. Let's get a nice focus on it. But yeah, the way that's bent round, there with that indentation possibly some sort of precious stone would have been in that and uh yeah that's what i think that is i could be wrong but the amount of roman little bits i've had off this field i think it is right spin the pop not for flop hammered something possibly Oh, it's got this up. It's bloody big, but I think it's bird ring. 8 EM 76. 1976, I reckon. W. It means it's got wings. 8 EM 76 W. It's a big old, uh, big old bird ring, though. Like a beaut. You weren't going to miss that. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's really claggy, really waterlogged. I mean, I've only just dug this hole, and look, puddle imminent. <laughs> but yeah, I was rewarded with a little bit of a broken buckle. An old one as well. Ah, yeah, that would have been quite a nice buckle. Yes, shame it's broken. But anyway, let's fill in the... Get out of my swamp. <laughs> Let's crack on. Got this up, didn't I? It looks like a little dovetail strap. It held a treasure chest together. Looks quite oldie as well. Oldie doldy. But yeah, I don't know what age to give that, to be fair. Yeah, still a nice find. Under the squelchiness. Gotta keep digging now, mate. Gotta keep digging. Find the good stuff. I've got this lovely sound and signal, and it was a little bit on the deep side. Hence, I've got a cavernous. Can you spot it here? Can you spot the signal? It's quite a large one. I'm going to kick it all in and then hopefully leave the signal there. But can you spot it? Can you spot what I dug up? Let me know if you did. It is. Yeah. 
I think that is a pot leg. Oh, it's an ornate pot leg as well. For like a little cauldron or something. See, it's got a lovely round bit there where it would have been on the cauldron, supporting it over a little fire. Yeah. Yeah, plus possibly Roman that is because I've had so much Roman and that lovely patina. Yeah, I'm not gonna miss that. Right, put that in the pouch. Fill in this monstrosity. Squelchy squelch. Let's keep on digging. We've got another well, another well of water, look. And at the bottom of this well came this, which I think is also of a Roman persuasion. With that greenness, but I have no idea what it could have been. It's just, I don't know. Not sure at all. Don't know, maybe the flow will know. Definitely one for the flow. Cool, let's keep digging. Right, Joe, I'll just come around here. They're obviously not my holes. There's some creature, and another creature has been digging there, that little holy thing. And I think we've had that much rain. Look at these poor little guys. They're, they're unalive, I think. They must have been cold or something. There's two of them together. Oh, poor little guys. Anyway, let's get back to digging. Oh, I've dug another well. Uh, that, oh God, almost dropped the headphones in the well. Don't do that, do we? That'll make them very squishy for the rest of the day. Um, I did find something here though, center of the screen. Just saw a corner of it. Look at that. Look at that for a buckle. Oh, wow. That's almost sort of a, I want to say gothic looking, isn't it? That's awesome, I like that. I'm going to show Holly that. Nice little buckle. That's my first decent signal of the wet day with Holly. So yeah, let's keep going. Just caught up with Holly. I've just been away for about an hour on a different part of the field. Have you had anything up? A baton. And that's it. Yeah. I did notice that you've got an emergency snack side pocket yeah. with a panda chocolate. <laughs> for, for dire emergencies of snack time. Yeah, that's pretty soon. <laughs> right, uh, I've already identified this, but I just want to show you how low this rung up. Right, in the 39s, but this is a uh, difficult land, and I think it's a cut quarter. Uh, where is it there? I think that's a little cut quarter. Dig the low signals. I think it's a cut quarter anyway. I might be wrong. Yeah, it is. It's a little cut quarter. All right, let's have a clean up and see if I'm getting one off a quarter, shall we? <laughs> right, there we go. It's definitely a cut quarter. Um, void short cross looking at that with four pips, which I think could be a, um, I want to say a John. I want to say, John, this side's a bit toasted. But yeah, silver hammered. He's on the quarter cuts. Whoop, whoop. Not missing much. Yeah, you're definitely not missing much. You keep getting these. Well, if you get these, should I say. Happy with that. Oh, a little surface find. It's a kniff. It's a kniff. Probably still use that. Ah, uh, no, I think it's broken now. Oh, yeah, definitely broken now, isn't it? Right, yeah. Yeah, it's still a kniff, isn't it? A bottle opener on top. Yeah. Yeah. See if anyone's lost that in the farm, in the pouch. Let's crack them. I dug another well. And people have been throwing coins in their whales, look. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is, you know. I thought it was a penny to start with, like a modernly penny. But I don't think it is. Seems a bit on the thick side, right? Oh. 
it's a bit chilly out. Ooh, it's a Georgius. Where's Georgius? This is this is this hammer. This is this. That's cool. Yep. So where's George and his hammers? We know this from past experiences. Right. Yeah. It's just going to be a Georgian. I think. What's on that side? It's not George. It's a bloody Scandi coin. Um, not Georgian. It's um one of those thingy coins from overseas. Uh, <laughs> Got, uh, Netherlands coins, that's it. I've got it there in the end. It's Netherlands coin. Uh, yeah, he's got the crown with the shield on top rather than I thought it felt different. Now we know why. Right, cool find. Let's keep digging. Right, gentlemen, I'm onto a signal here which I've already had a pickup and I thought it was a baton. So I had a little wipe of it and it doesn't seem very baton y. It looks almost like a silver wash on it there. It could be. It's very round to be a Roman. I want to get a squirt on it. It could just be a bloody button. No, my luck. It's just going to be another bloody button. But something doesn't sit right with me on that. Let me have a quick clean up. Yeah. Hopefully I'll get some details off it. Give me a sec. Definitely wishful thinking. It's just a bloody button. Look. I would have had a shank in the back there. Always wishful thinking. You never know. Right. Let's fill in the hole. Evening. Evening, Mr. Crows. Morning, Mr. Crows. Good afternoon, Mr. Crows. That one at me, right? Let's crack on. Oh my lord, he's onto a big chunky boy. Can you spot it? Can you spot the big chunky boy? It's in the high. No, it's there. <laughs> he's onto the big old hammer. Oh, uh, oh, it's a Tudor, I think. Big old Tudor shield on it. There's a Tudor. Well, right, instead of trying to guess it through the mud, shall we have a clean up? Yeah, it's got the little Y bit there, which I don't think is going to be Elizabeth the first. But uh, yeah, let's get a nice clean up, shall we? Get it its full glory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. I've had a squirt up with a toothbrush and a little bit of squirt. But I can get the date off that clear as day. It looks like 1575. 1575. It's almost 500 years old. And the portrait's not too shabby on that. It is Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth, sixpence. Big old chunky silver. Happy with that. Right, let's take a some more. Have a drop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, always check your holes. Another good signal. A good signal, I say, but it was a shotgun end, so it must have been that way up. Pinging off my ears. But anyway, always check your holes. Could have been a horde, but on this occasion it just wasn't. Right, off drop. That's where I just had the hammered and the shotgun end. I was just working my way down here, and there's something really large that caught my eye on the surface. Look at that, it's a big old piece of a clay pipe stem just sitting on the surface. So that's a good indication that peoples were here smoking pipes, and that's an older one, that is because the thicker ones. Yeah, get it in the light so you can see, yeah. The thicker ones, the older it is, the thinner ones are the newer ones. Well, I say new. He still smokes a clay pipe, I don't know. Right, anyway, bit of a pot, off a trot. Bit of something different. We'll talk about machines. Um, I'm not a fanboy of any company or any machines. Um, I've never have been. I always liked using different machines. Um, I used not to macro machines for years. Um, one of my favourite machines, one of my favourite machines, was the, the, the Amphibio, not to macro Amphibio. I had loads of good stuff for that, but I was using that for about two years straight, I think I was. Um, and then my, my next favourite machine was the Equinox 800. I had loads of good stuff for that as well. But I'm going to have to say, this thing here is undoubtedly the best machine I've ever used. My finds rate has increased. Um, I had this about seven months now. Seven months I've had this machine. I've had three gold rings. I've had one Celtic gold stator. I've had silver Roman. I've had fibulas. I've had over 30 hammers. Um, the thing's just that it clicks with me, this machine. It's not, I know, I understand it's not for everyone, but I just want to say my, my, <laughs> my favourite machine I've ever used is the one I'm using right now. 
the DS2. I just love it. I just love it. It just clicks it. If I'm being picky, right, this is only if I'm being really, really picky, the battery life on the coil could be a little bit longer. I mean, I'll squeeze two hunts out of it. But oh, I think I'll just, being, I'll just charge it after every hunt, I think. But with its lightweightness, the way it finds targets is unreal. It's a hammered hoover. It really is. I've been on fields where I haven't found hammers before and I found cut quarters just sitting. And I must have gone over them with other machines. I've done these fields to death, but it's still sniffing out the good stuff. So I just want to say, not a fanboy of any companies or anything, but my, my favourite machine is definitely this, this this little thing here. Right, up a chop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, beans, out of this hole here came this in my hand. Do you know what it is? It's a chain. Why am I showing you a chain unless it's silver or gold? Because this, see the links here are all round on that side, and the links this side are all funny patterns. So that's obviously a decorative, decorative chain, look. Very decorative chain. Could have been like a, an old pocket watch or something. But yeah, it's very a bit different, isn't it? Hey. You never know, I might be able to find a pocket watch somewhere. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Imagine if it was a gold one. Ooh. Right, let's put that on the good side. From the old coffee shop. All right, I just had this up here. Uh, but it was a bit took, and I looked closely, and there's some gold gild at the top there. That would have been something fancy. Riveted there and there. Maybe like a corner of a chest or a corner of a box. I have dug a few coins up today, um, other than Amarid, and uh, tin cans and rubbish like that. They've all been uh, completely battered with no details on them. So I haven't really shown you, there's a couple, look. I haven't shown you them because they've just been absolutely battered with hardly any details on them. So yeah, I can't get an idea on them. They are coins. But for the life of me, I don't know what coins they are. But that's possibly looking like a jet in with that middle bit. But you never know. You never know. So I've dug up a few coins as well. Keep going. Keep going. All right, ladies and gentle beans. Uh, uh, stay. Stay. Good day as two. Right. Nice deep hole, as you can tell by the mess. I'm onto a coin. But has it got anything on it? This is the question. The age-old question. It uh, looks a bit tarnished and knackered. I am going to say it's a Georgian looking coin. You know what they say? Well, there's Georgian, there's what? More Georgian around. Oh, I might have scuffed that with a spade there. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Georgian. Very, very gone. Anyway, let's keep going. I almost discarded this as junk. Uh, it came out of this hole here. And it's in my hand here. Uh, but looking at it closely, it's a bit decorated silver. So it would have come off something. We've had a nice pattern on it, like maybe off a walking cane or something. A little bit of silver though, can't complain. Sniffing it out, like right from the hole, and see if we can find some bigger bits or even some gold. You never know, you never know. So, ladies and gentlemen, I swam across this uh, lake, and I, I, I mean, I was surrounded by this lake, it's quite a big lake here. Um, but it's a little island, I thought there's got to be something on that island, and there was. It's this. Uh, there's a pin badge because it's got a little latch thing there and I think that's almost like a Tudor rose or something in the middle of that. I may be wrong, could be like a little sweetheart brooch. It's very battered no matter what it is. But yeah, it's definitely some sort of pin badge or a little sweetheart brooch. In the island, surrounded by the lake. Right. Not amazing. Still like it though. I found it. Put it in my pot. It's filling the hole before it floods. And uh yeah, off a trot. Right, I've just come off the lake. The lady of the lake that gave me that little pin badge brooch thingy. And I've got this. Looks like another one. A little Tudor rose in it. But looking at it, it looks to be like a mount rather than a pin badge. So maybe the other one was a mount rather than a pin badge. But this one's not as far corroded as the other one. Yeah, I like that. Lovely little flower pattern in it. Which I am going to say is a Tudor rose. Pretty awesome. At least I've uh, figured out what the other one was. By finding a better condition one. It's good that. Sweet. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so about time for the reveal. It's in the hole, it's in the hole. It's, a, it's an obligatory smack bang in the middle. 
musket bowl. Oi, ah. yeah, the obligatory musket ball of the day. Right, Whew. do we have to fill in this hole or can we just wiggle it out? A little stamp. There we go, they have to fill it in. Look, I was never here. Just had to chew the brooch thing out of this hole here. Look, see my footsteps. Do, 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 do. Ooh, nice signal here. What is it? It's a coin. But this one might have details on it, unlike the others on this field. Ooh. He has. It's Georgian. Where's Georgian? There's Ahmed. We already know there's Ahmed's here. Found Ahmed's before I found Georgian. Yeah. Look at that. Usually the, toy, the coins here come up absolutely toasted unless they're silver. But this one's actually come up. Not bad, Nick, he says. Uh, oh, that's Britannia side, so head side there. Yeah, cool. Happy with that. Right, just fill in the hole and off his flop. I think Holly's on, onto a minefield at the moment. The signal's everywhere. Everywhere. What you had? Oh, you got a head teacher's award. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, is that all today? Yeah. Cool thimble? Yeah. It's a lovely buckle. Mm -hmm. Spectacle buckle, that is. Because you're wearing glasses. Button, button, button. Bit of tuck. Bit of a broken buckle. Yeah, that was in there. And uh, musket ball. You're doing all right. I bought. I bought. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? Um, three coins. What coins? A little scrappy bit of silver, uh, all Georgian. Mm. Only one with detail on. Other than that, not bad. Do you have a snack bag today? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, might as well because I'm going to disappear to a different part of the field. I'll leave, I'll leave you doing the minefield. <laughs> the tracks, look. You got a fascination for the tracks as well, look. I'm literally <laughs> snaking like that, up and down. Because we did actually look on this field. There is actually an old building that isn't here anymore. Um, so we're looking for quavers. What's that? A giant bar? Rolled oats and coconut. What's that other one? Has it got two flapjacks? No, that's cornflake cake. Cornflake cake. Brownies. Oh my god. Monster. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Powerade. Powerade. I think that's it. That's Holly's snack bag for today. Rate it out of ten. A hundred. Oh, it's gone up. I was like 20 last time. 100. Cool. Right, curiosity got the better of me with this. Uh, it's a piece of lead, but it's a round disc piece of lead, and I did bend, that's what that fresh lead bent stuff there is. I thought, oh, I wonder what's on the inside of that. So I bent it open a little bit. Look at that. It says H and L. So Holly and Lucas, check that out. Uh, it's got something else at the bottom there. I don't know quite what that is or how old it is. It looks quite old. Is that a suspension loop at the bottom? There, I don't know. I don't know, what is this? What is this? Uh, I don't know what it says. Is that possibly a date at the bottom? It looks like C. I don't know, I don't want to bend it anymore because I don't want to break it. That is interesting. What would have that been off? comments below is that even a, like a reef around the edge is it like a metally thing it's got a dotted edge uh, that's it this could be like really old it's got like a dotted like milled edge like a coin around the edges uh, is it who knows right i'll send that to holly see what she thinks i'll just come to show holly this lovely little uh lead seal you've seen i think it's a lead seal or something well, it's got the H and the L. I have a good little bit of a brush, but the bottom bit, focusy focus in. There you go. It's got a C, one, one, one. Or is that a H? The laugh on a H. I don't know if that's a. Or is that an F? C. It's hard to tell because it's right on the crease. Might be a H. Yeah, it's because everything's something written on it. Holly's pointed out. It's in the shape of a heart. <laughs> Weird. Right. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to post it on the social to see if anybody else knows what it is. But, yeah. Cool. 
I know it's not metal detector related, but this was just on the surface. I picked it up. So the Paul's Church, London. That there's pretty cool. I don't know what it's off. Um, I'm sure there's a few sort of uh, mud larkers and stuff. I probably know what that is, but I don't have a clue. But I am going to take that with me. Very rarely I do that, but it's very interesting. Oh, I can see someone winking at me. I think it might be a coin or a button. Can you see it? Dead centre. Oh, it's not. It's neither. It's a little tag, I think. Anything on it? Nothing on that side. Oh, oh, I might get some on this side. Oh, there's right at the top there. I can't quite make it out though. Possibly, is it a really old dog tag or is it just a tag tag? Don't know, don't know. I thought it was a coin slash button. The little tassely thing makes you think it's a tag. Right, cool. Right, put that in the pot, clink, from the hole and uh, let's try and find that elusive six foot Burmese python or silver or gold will do me. I want another coin out of this little cloddy bit here, right? Um, it's tarnished and absolutely gone on it. You can see full of coin, I think it's a Georgian though. <sighs> yeah, it's Georgian. Check the rim. Always check the rim for a Georgian. There we go, split rim. See it's got a little gap in the middle. Definitely a Georgian. Whoop whoop, where's Georgian those hammers? Keep digging. Oh my God, that is a first for me. Yeah, grim, it's a piece of lead. What's, what's so first about it? Well, it's a pop end, right? But it's still got a bit of pop left in it. See the redness there. Uh, the red pot coming through. Sandwiching in between two bits of lead. Yeah, you see the pot there. <laughs> I found a pot end with a bit of pot still in it. That's awesome. It's the little things in me. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. My best pop end ever. You see the redness there? Coming through. Yeah, I like that. Sorry about the wind. Right, let's put that on the good side. Might even frame it. <laughs> right, let's crack on. Literally just after the pop mend. I think I'm a hammered. I think that's hammered in the clod. Who's it gonna be? Oh, it never gets old. Oh, it's a complete one too. It's not broken. It's an Eddie. It's an Eddie Hammered. Get in. Get in. He's on the hammered. Oh, look at that portrait. Look at that portrait. He's just beautiful. Is it an Eddie? He looks quite young. Let's get cleaned up. Two secs. Yeah, I was just knelt there. I'm trying to turn away from the wind because this is neon perfect condition. Look at that. I've never seen one in such good condition. No clipping, perfect bust. And the other side, perfectly centered as well. That is neon like the perfect hammered ever. Oh man, I'm over the freaking moon with that. Get in. Whoop, whoop. Hope Polly gets one. Oops, just got one of these up, look. <laughs> oh, that's in perfect condition as well. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of another hunt with, um, well, it's another two, three hunts. I found three hammers in these three hunts. Polly found a Roman. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, uh, are you enjoying these longer videos where I'm sort of squeezing every time I go out and just doing little bits or do you prefer the shorter videos? Leave in the comments below what you actually enjoy doing. Um, other than that, I'll see you on the next instalment. I bought. I bought. <laughs> right, have a chat.